I'm Ed McKay, an artist living in Colorado Springs. This painting of an old skull is a little bit of a departure from me instead of the straight ahead portraiture of wildlife that I normally paint. Instead, the painting reflects history, spirituality, and our place on the planet. Let me explain. A couple of years ago, my wife and I traveled to Santa Fe for an art show. I happened to have a painting and a show that was sponsored by the Old Painters of America there. The courtyard of the hotel that we stayed in had this skull, just the skull, posted high up on the stucco wall in the courtyard. I took a few pictures of it, thinking it could be reference material for some painting later. Uh, we've seen paintings of skulls for a long time. Georgia O'Keeffe comes to mind. I love her work. But I knew that I didn't want to paint a painting like Georgia O'Keeffe. And I didn't want to do a straightforward painting of the skull. So every once in a while I would look at the, that some of the tens of thousands of photos looking for inspiration and I came across this. Numerous times I tried to come up with something and, and didn't. then one night, and it happened to be right after looking at the skull that day, while I was in the semi-dream state, the entire design came to me. And the next morning I woke up and I immediately started on it. And it's really a story, and it's a story about respect, which is the title of the painting. It's the respect that the indigenous peoples, the Native Americans, had for a lot of the game that they killed. In fact, a lot of tribes believed that every life, every plant, every animal, every human had an equal right to their own lives and their place in the circle of life. They didn't think that any one was more important than the other. When they hunted, many tribes believed that the spirit of the animal is what was giving them life, and they thanked the animal for giving life to them and their family. Their tribes made use of every part of the animal that they could. The meat was for their sustenance. They used the skin for clothes. This leather tong here that's tying the dream catcher to the uh, antlers is an example of the way they might use some of the uh, leather. The dream catcher is to refer the whole thing to the indigenous people's lifestyle back then. And I really respected that. Their beliefs that every life was valuable and it was all part of the circle of life and their conservation of the environment is a point that would be well taken today with all of us. The painting itself has the story of the hunt, which happened in the mountains, the prey, and the hunter who used a bow and arrow. The red background in this, which is deep red, was also part of the dream. They came to me immediately, as, and it struck me as a beautiful contrast to the white and the earth shades of the skull. But it's also a reminder of the mortality of not only the elk, but also of all of us and our point in the circle of life. I hope that you enjoy viewing this painting as much as I did painting it. And I hope to see you at the gallery.